Kalulu Creative is basically is an arts and cultural space. So we use this space for uh, cultural promotion uh, as a cultural space, where a space where various workshops take place, uh, various uh, activities. For instance, uh, we had Teresa Ngambi here telling uh, folk tales and uh, music and dance with uh, children. So we have uh, workshops for children, traditional games, music, storytelling. Uh, crafts making, pottery, and you know all those are you know related activities. Then we also have workshops for adults in the arts. For instance, we have a workshop in Vimbuza dance. Uh, we have uh, a performance space where various performances take place. But chiefly, wh whatever we do is more on the traditional and artistic side. So that, that's our major uh, area of interest, actually. That's why we call ourselves uh, the home of African arts and culture. I grew up in the village, just like my wife, who we are running this place with, uh, together with our children. You know, my wife and I are people who grew up in the village. So we have lived the African life, that's what I can say. And uh, when we get into spaces where we feel we are being detached from who we are, it becomes a bit difficult to accept that space. And we feel that we are losing you know, our reality, our drive towards who we want to be. So it chiefly comes from, background, you know, from that background. Ultimately, you know, when you live your life, according to the dictates of your society, according to what your culture is, you get to be more fulfilled than a case where you are attempting to live your life according to someone else's desires. That way it becomes very difficult for you to be fulfilled. And personally, I've always felt that being an African and living my life as an African gives me an opportunity to explore my, you know, my potentials to the fullest and ultimately you know, uh, be fulfilled as who I am. Even the names that we have given our children from the very first are uh, indigenous names, local names. So already we see that she was being born into, into, you know, with the rest, you know, her brothers and sisters have all been born in this kind of environment and we've ensured that they just see this as a way of life, as their way of life, because we know that ultimately they're the people who are going to run, you know, this cultural space. So it has to be part of their lives. Uh, most of their friends who visit actually also you know, take part in the activities that we have. So when they are here, they're with them, since the girls are almost always busy, you know, uh, developing these crafts. They, they are developing actually a lot of designs of their own. And when their friends see this happening, they also join in and they become part of it. Slowly, our house started changing from being just, you know, a living space into this art space. And then we thought, well, wouldn't it be better if actually this was made deliberate where the art space becomes a shop. It becomes more realistic, so people really understand. And by the way, it also helps, you know, with the neighbors. Okay, they are our neighbors, they are walking through, they can easily come through, so they're coming to see us, and then they can also see, you know, the artwork, and they also get to fall in love with it. So uh, our idea, particularly because we also have a theater background, is of taking the theater to the people as opposed to the people going to the theater. And taking this kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, tradition, to the people makes it be owned by the people because people see that okay so this is ours it is being brought to us meaning we can also benefit for, for you know from it so that, that's why we decided to change it's actually not just a living room we've changed the rest of the ground floor as far as we're concerned the rest of the ground floor is now part of the craft shop even now you know i'm teaching intangible cultural heritage literature it's basically about cultural studies so what, what whatever i'm doing uh to me is part of what I'm meant to do. So I would say maybe, you know, I was born into a world that really was meant for me. So I really appreciate the kind of environment that I grew up in because it has defined what I'm doing right now. Uh, whatever we're doing at Kalui Creatives is basically a part of, you know, uh, my beginning from the time I was born up to now.